Let's make a switch for your headphones and speakers so that you don't have to wear out your audio jacks with constantly unplugging and plugging. For this project we will need a project box. A double pull double throw switch. I'm using a triple pull but you use what you have. Some stereo jacks. I'm using quarter inch because that is what most of my gear uses. Wires and of course a cup of coffee. The tools you'll need is a soldering iron and solder, a drill, preferably a drill press, wire cutters, strippers and the usual suspects. Start by marking where you're going to put your connections. I'm putting the line in and speaker out on the back so those connections can be hidden and the headphone jack on the front. Switch goes on the top. Punch guide holes on your markers and use a small drill to make guide holes. Measure your components to know which size drill bit you need. Drill the holes, but be careful, this is quite dangerous. If you have no experience, get someone who has it to drill it for you. Loosely mount the components in place. The idea is that you connect the line in to the middle terminals on the switch, and then mount the corresponding leads for the outputs on the other sides of the switch. All left channel leads in one row and all the right channel leads in the other. Ground doesn't need to be connected to the switch. Measure the wires, strip the ends and start soldering. Since this project box is aluminum and the space is at a premium on this end of the box, I insulate the edges with electrical tape before mounting. Secure the components and screw the case shut. Ideally you'd want rubber feet but I used the last of mine on my stylophone, so those will have to wait. Let's try it out.